In this video, we look at how the plum pudding model developed from our earliest model of the atom. In 1803, a scientist named John Dalton published his experiments and findings on the atom, marking the beginning of atomic theory. His theory stated that all matter is made up of extremely small, spherical particles called atoms, which cannot be created, destroyed or divided into smaller parts that atoms of a given element are identical in their physical and chemical properties, and that atoms of different elements differ in their physical and chemical properties. He also proposed that different atoms combine in fixed ratios to give compounds, and that in chemical reactions the atoms of these compounds are separated and recombined to form new compounds. The solid sphere model prevailed for 100 years until 1904, when J.J. Thomson made an important discovery that atoms contain negatively charged particles. He discovered these particles by experimenting with a cathode ray tube, a glass vacuum sealed tube that contained two metal electrodes with a hole in the center of the anode. When connected to a power source, a ray was emitted by the cathode towards the anode, the beam that escaped through the hole was detected by a phosphor coating at the end of the tube. When oppositely charged plates were placed above and below the beam, the ray would bend towards the positive plate and away from the negative plate. The attraction to the positive plate led Thomson to believe the beam was composed of negatively charged particles, what we now call electrons. In order to account for the existence of the electron, he needed to create an entirely new atomic model. Since it was already known that atoms were neutral, Thomson suggested that the negatively charged electrons were randomly dispersed throughout a sphere of positive jelly that balanced their charge. He imagined electrons embedded in the positive sphere like pieces of fruit inside a pudding, hence his theory is called the plum pudding model. This became the new accepted model of the atom, but not for long, because in 1911 a New Zealand physicist Ernest Rutherford would conduct the gold foil experiment which forever changed how we view the atom.